lot of the time I'm not super proud of the videos I create and usually that's because I've not done this. This is the planning stage. Any video that I've done that I've really loved has had some sort of planning go into it and that's what I'm doing now. The weird thing about my process is sometimes it takes me doing something, filming something, recording something, experiencing some uh, kind of physical activity or thought process and filming it for me to come up with the idea. So sometimes I have some of the footage before I've started planning the video. And that kind of doesn't make a lot of sense, really. But in this case, for example, me and my friend James went camping the other day. I took a camera with me and I was like filming stuff and I was filming loads of stuff, mostly taking pictures, but I got a load of footage as well. And there's two things there. There's two things that happened. There's two, um, two thought process, processes that aligned. One was that, fuck me, I've got a lot of stuff on my back, this stuff, is heavy, I had my camera, just the one lens, but I had like four batteries, I had the drone, the controller obviously, I also had then a big battery bank to charge it all, and I was like, damn it, this stuff really heavy, I wish I hadn't brought this with me, and I was thinking like, oh, what's my priority next time? It's just having a more comfortable kit. But that, combined with the footage that I got, was like, got me thinking, well, maybe I should make a video about this, maybe I should make a video focused on challenging the ideas of what we should take with us, challenging what I thought was going to be best for me beforehand. So like I'm just even looking at this now. I had like a camping things checklist. There's just a lot of stuff on there that now that I've done it, I don't think I really needed. And then I've also been listening to a couple of books that are both talking about these kinds of things. So essentialism and a company of one or company of one. Both really interesting books, but both had this thing, this like theme standing out, like you choose what you want to do, otherwise it's gonna get chosen for you. So with that, I sat down and I wrote 1200 words in my like favorite application of choice for just writing out loads of stuff, which is called iWriter Pro. And then just this morning, I've copied that into because that doesn't have any formatting, it's just really good for like getting words on the page. I've like put that into um, a Google Doc, which I've then, you know, organized a little bit and, and started to organize my thoughts and put headers and introductions and split it off into, into how I'm gonna tell this story. And that leads me on to where I'm at now, which is storyboarding. Because I want this to be quite a visual, at least the introduction, I want this to be very visual, very, sort of um, emotive video. I really want to like grab people's attention straight off the bat, which is one of the other things that I've been learning today is um, how to how to make better YouTube videos in, in terms of like not making better videos, but making ones that perform better on YouTube. I'm using some of that knowledge. So there's a lot of like research, not just about the subject, but about how I'm gonna put this out into the world because it's really heartbreaking when you put so much work into a video and then it doesn't get it doesn't get picked up at all. So that's what I'm on today. Hopefully I'll get some of the stuff filmed. It's Sunday, kind of don't wanna to go to a wooded area and, and try and film because there's just gonna be people there and people are always weird. <sighs> people are always weird when it comes to like having, you know what, if you've ever filmed yourself in public, you know what I mean? Like people will, even ones who are trying to be good about it, they'll stop and they'll be like, oh, oh, is everything, is it okay? Oh, am I gonna be in this? Uh, and, and the ones that are outright dicks will just be dicks because that's what they, that's what they do, I guess. So yeah, for me to actually put some production value into it, have the camera like far off and me walk into shot, just the idea of kind of people going back and forth, even though it's a really nice day and it would be a good one to get out on. I'll see what, Dark Skies is saying, Dark Skies is uh, one of my favorite apps at the moment. For example, today we have yellow thunderstorm morning. What? Uh, that's weird. Oh, it's gonna be raining the rest of the week. Maybe I should just go out and do it today. I really should go out and just do it today. It just, it means taking a big pack out with me because the shot, 
the shots like this shot of me like falling down with my backpack on because it's like supposedly too heavy i think that's where i'm gonna end it right now I go to sometimes just to make a video. Cleaned the whole kitchen and lit it. Moved the whole living room around just so I can get this shot basically. I mean it's a nice enough shot. It's about as nice as I can get as like a living shot in here. Because I think the problem with the couch being against the wall is because you've got no depth behind it, it's just boring. And boring just doesn't sell, does it? I've also gone back to using this microphone just in the shot, which I kind of think's okay. I think it's quite a nice shot. I also started using Comic Sans on my Instagram stories. I know it's not actually Comic Sans, but it looks pretty close to Comic Sans. Uh, just to be an absolute troll. Just because that's the kind of dickhead that I guess I've chosen to be. Okay, that's enough for today, I think. See you tomorrow. Recently I've switched out running for walking. And that kind of sounds like a bit of a cop-out. It kind of sounds like something that's not going to be as good in terms of exercise. But if you look at the numbers, it is. Maybe not so much for time, like time to like calories burn, but if you look at it in terms of distance, if you do the same distance walking as you do running, seems like it's a, it's a good thing. And also less stress on your knees and joints. Although I think since running like barefoot and with barefoot shoes, that's not been as much of an issue anyway. But I'm just trying it out. It seems to be working. The reason I started trying it out was because I've been going hiking and like camping more, I've started to do that. And it just seemed like a good thing to do the same kind of exercise as like training as I'm gonna do when I'm like out and about in the wild and, and like build up my stamina for, for long distance walking. I'm not gonna give up running and just switch for a bit. Today's been one of those kind of days where you just tread in water. Like I feel exhausted because of it, but oh, I feel like I got nothing done. I've been looking for like a model slash actor, actress to be in this video that I'm producing at the moment. And it needs to be like an authentic story, like a human story about like the way that they use this thing, this notebook. And I can't find anyone authentic who wants to be part of it the budget's probably not big enough to, to have like a proper actor and to you know to actually cast it and like a model as much as there are, you know there are modeling agencies and stuff in, in Manchester and that they're, they're models and they're not necessarily you know actors so also I found out that actor is not necessarily gender neutral when Facebook wouldn't let me uh, they wouldn't let me post my ad which is weird because if you're looking for an actor or an actress, surely you are looking for a specific gender because you're looking for someone to play a role. You know, if you're looking for like, oh, we're looking for Dave's mum in this, you know, in this film, putting a call out where, you know, every middle-aged man's gonna turn up. Not really gonna work, is it? So you're not allowed to go, you've got to work. I'm not going to be able to hear a word that I'm saying right now because the traffic's so loud. But I just thought this is a really nice spot. So Manchester's gone back into lockdown. It's like a local lockdown thing. I think the amount of people actually adhering to it is close enough to zero that I think we can say it's been dismissed by the population. I mean, I've been following it. 
that got me in trouble. But these new lockdown rules, all they do is say that you can't go and spend time with anyone at their house. You still go to the pub, you can still go to restaurants and everything like that. Just, um, you know, can't go around to your nans for tea. Not that I've got any nans. I think I might go camping tomorrow. It's gonna be a little wild boy, but it's also gonna be solo. Unfortunately, everyone else is busy. Three hour cycle after work to then go and sleep out in the woods. Or actually more likely out on the moors. I think interestingly, I've never really got a grasp on the kind of people who watch these videos. I feel like looking at the stats doesn't really tell me a lot. Like, yes, it skews male, but like what kind of, what kind of guy watches these? So yesterday was Friday. It's Saturday morning, about seven o'clock now. I decided after I finished my work yesterday to cycle to the Peak District from Manchester on my fixie bike, because I'm a hipster, and come and camp out in, in it, well, up Kinder Scout. Basically, I just felt like I needed to get away the, this week. Again, another week of kind of being a bit bleh. And yeah, I just wanted to get out. And so I packed up my bivvy bag and slept out in nature. And one thing that's really mad is like, I got a decent enough night's sleep. I was awake like every 15 minutes cause like all it takes is a bit of wind and the bivvy bag like slaps your face. And then like just before dawn, it's like freezing. You're like, oh, I feel like, why have I done this? And then you kind of wake up, you make yourself a coffee, get up, wash, clean teeth, get packed up and start walking and within minutes you just feel amazing and when the view's like this and you're getting great photos it's just i don't know it's just incredible so yeah highly recommend or well, don't actually recommend because it's fucking dangerous it's just 